Good morning and welcome to my channel. Let's get started. Here I have a piece that I found at a rummage sale and I want to call it a piece of wood art. I covered it with gesso and now I'm covering it with acrylic paint. Getting rid of the really ugly pattern that was on it. I think I got it for a dollar. So I'll show you what I turn it into. It was a fun piece. I needed something for my craft room. Just a little decoration. I keep looking for these items at rummage sales when you can get them real inexpensive. It's fun to turn it into something that you create. Just using some light blue and some vanilla acrylic paint getting all the sides I'm gonna let it dry and I'm going to use a stencil to put down the circles geometric circles now I'm going to use a stamp set two stamp sets actually for the hearts and the flowers my archival ink in jet black my Misty and a half of a manila folder. I'm going to stamp out those images, make sure they're nice and dark so that we can color them. We're going to color them with transparent acrylic paint. Here I'm doing the other side of the manila envelope getting more images but my images hang off the edge so wipe off your stamp and reposition your stamps on your misty not a problem just making it work as you can see I stamped the image once need to get a more defined image and I moved my paper so now when I stamp I get kind of a double image and I don't like that turn over the piece of paper and we'll start again no problem I love the Misty super great piece to have in your craft room. I use mine all the time. Couldn't live without it. All right, images are stamped and now we're going to use some translucent red paint. Transparent, excuse me. There's transparent, semi-opaque, and opaque. Transparent is so you can see the black lines through. And I had yellow, red, and some purple that were transparent in my stash. I did not have a green. So I'll show you how I fixed that. I used some gel medium and covered the area. And then I used my big brush markers to cover over the gel medium to get the color. Be very sure that the gel medium is dry or you will wreck your markers. Here I go. Putting that gel medium down over the green. Over the areas that I want to be green. Make sure it's dry. I'll list all the products below. Here I'm using one of those big brush markers to add some low lights to the hearts. I even put some brown on it. Gives it some depth and definition. This was a fun project, very summery, 
and fun. Here I'm adding that brush marker over the gel medium to get my green. I like to use the items I have in my stash instead of running out and getting a transparent green paint. I just looked around to see what I could make work. Here was my solution. Now we're going to cut all the images out. I have dyes for the flowers and the leaves, but the heart images I need to cut out by hand, which is fine for me. I like doing it. Those markers work just fine. I'm sure having fun doing this YouTube channel. It's very rewarding. I'm learning a lot. I so appreciate the comments and I like it when people let me know what you think about my videos. Next week I'll bring back another mixed media piece. This is mixed media, just using different things. Here I'm going to stamp the heart image onto the wood piece and using that black archival ink I'm trying to get those black swirls on the back. The middle doesn't matter because we're going to add our colored images over the top. Be careful not to smudge your ink. You'll see that I do and I'll show you how I fix it. I like to leave in the mistakes and how I fix them. Let me know what you think. I did it right there smudge baby wipe won't even take it off let's keep going don't be discouraged we can fix anything That stencil I used in the background with white acrylic paint is by Sean Petit and it is called Roundabouts. I don't know what happened to my footage there, but apparently I don't have it any longer. I'm adhering my images with matte gel. I was going to try to do it with matte medium, but it wasn't strong enough, so I got out the big boy. That gel will stick anything down. Be sure to get underneath and over the top. Here I'm using my little blade to pick up the edge so I can tuck that leaf underneath. It's really pretty. Get over the top and all the edges. It's a re really rewarding piece, how it all comes together. Super fun, I thought. And to turn that ugly piece of wall art into something really cool that you created, like I said, very rewarding.
There, everything's stuck down and dry. Look how I fixed that smudge. I covered it with a little flower. Here comes another mistake. See, I make lots of them. I stamp down the sentiment and it's crooked. So I try to get it off with a baby wipe and I smudge it. Alcohol will take anything off. So I take off the image which says out of limitations comes creativity. And I believe that's true for this piece. The limitation is thinking out of the box. So I thought I'd create on a wooden box. I got back out my acrylic paints and just added a little bit over that dried area where I took off the image, adding my blue, get back out the stencil and the white heavy duty acrylic paint. Make sure it's dry. Put the stencil back on and touch it up. Then what I did is I stamped the sentiment on tissue paper with my black archival ink. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. Black archival ink. Let it dry and adhered it back to the piece with my matte gel. Let it dry and then I used my paint markers to add highlights, accents, and color in the creativity sentiment. It all worked out in the end. I also added those little dots that were in the stamp set and it gives it a sense of whimsy, a sense of movement. I really liked it. I so appreciate you guys joining me every Tuesday on my channel. Please watch some of my other videos. Like and comment. And we will get back together again next Tuesday for another piece. I believe it'll be mixed media. But you never know. Stop back to see. Have a wonderful week.